What's up, YouTube? It's Country Master here again today for another cut tutorial. So, today I'm gonna show you how to do the trick that I performed yesterday. The performance will be in the description box below. Before we begin, I would just like to say thank you guys for 25 subscribers again. Um, please keep subscribing to my channel. Um, if I get a certain amount of subscribers, I might do a special video. You guys never know. So, and also, I want ideas for videos because I'm running out of ideas. So, any ideas you guys can give me, just comment down below. So, before we begin, please like this video and subscribe down below and comment on any video you guys want me to do next. So, without further ado, grab your deck and let go. Yo, welcome to, to the tutorial to Snap. The original performance that I did will be in the description box below, and Chris Pratt's version of this trick, which I got it from, will be also in the description box below, and don't forget to subscribe. Let's begin. So what you want to do is you want to take the pile, and you want to look through it, and you just want to say, see, all the cards are mixed up. So you show them all the cards mixed up, but actually what you're doing is you're going to the top, and you're memorizing the third card. So one, two, you're memorizing this card, the third card, which is the ten of hearts. Okay, after you memorize that, you screw up the cards and you say, all right. So all they think about is you are showing them that the cards are mixed up. They do not know that you memorized the third card, which is the ten of hearts. All right, now what you do is after you turn the pile over, you don't shuffle it. I mean, you can, but you have to keep that third card on top so that so you have to keep that third card on top so that you can memorize that. So it stays in the third position. Now what you want to do is you want to deal the card into three piles. What I did was I just took some of the bottom packet, placed it to my left, took some of the top packet, placed it in the middle, and take, took the le rest of the packet and placed it to my right. So this made it so that the top packet with your memorized card in it will be in the middle. Now what you want to do is you want to flip over one on this side and flip over one to your left and say, here's these two cards, just don't worry about those. Okay, then you'll have them take, you say, take the top card of the middle pile and memorize it, okay? They'll memorize the card. You will tell them to not show you the card. You know what the card is, but they won't show you the card. Now, what you tell them is you say, put it anywhere in the middle pile, okay? So they can cut it anywhere and put it anywhere in the middle. And make sure at this point that they put it anywhere in the middle pile, because if they put it in any of these two other piles, it won't work. So make sure you specifically say middle of the middle pile, any way you want. They can put it on top, bottom, it doesn't matter. Now what you do is you take one of these cards and you use the effect of, I'm going to put one card on top and one of these cards on bottom, so it's sandwiched. And then you tell them, the only thing I know is that your card is somewhere in this pile. And they'll be like, yes, that's true. Now you take... The right pile, put it on top, and the left pile, put it on bottom. So now it's sandwiched. So now the Ten of Hearts is somewhere in the middle of the pack. Now what you want to do is you want to turn it around, and you want to start looking for the Ten of Hearts. But while you're doing this, move some cards onto the bottom so it doesn't look like you're just looking straight forward. Kind of like be like, hmm, I think this might be it. Mm, nah, and then once you find the Ten of Hearts, you put it on bottom. All right, and they won't see this because you, you, you'll have your hands up like this. I'm just showing you from an exposed view. But you'll have your hands up like this, and you'll deal some out. And then after the Ten of Hearts is on bottom, or the cards you memorized, you'll take three cards and you'll put it on top. So one, two, and then three. So to them, it just looks like you're moving around some cards, you know. But actually, you made it so the Ten is in the fourth position from the bottom. So it's one two, three, four, so it's in the fourth position. So you have to have it this way. Now, the next step is you hold the cards like this, where you have your middle finger, ring finger, and pinky wrapped over onto the front, your index finger wrapped over the top, and your thumb wrapped over on the other side of the pack. So you're going to hold it like this, so it looks like you have just this, and then you have everything wrapped around, you know? And so, now what you do is... You say, is this your card? No, and you'll take this top card, put it down, and burn it. So, But you'll do this face down, so you'll just take that, put it down, and burn it, so that they don't see anything. Now, the next is the actual effect of how you get their card. So, what you do is, you, is their card is going to be next after this card. So, what you'll want to do is you'll want to take your three fingers, 
and you'll want to push the cards down. Push the six of hearts down with these three fingers like this so that the card see I just double lifted there. these cards are kinda sticky but you'll wanna push it down so that their card is out and this card is pushed down but if it's like this they won't see that the card is pushed down you'll just push it down with those three fingers and then what you'll do is you'll say this is your card right and then you flip it over and you do that thing with your fingers pushing it down so you have room to take out so when it, it looks like you're just taking out the top card but actually you're peeling out the ten of hearts and you're placing it down and you say, alright, I'm going to burn this. So you take the one that you pushed down and burn it. Okay? And then the next two times you do this, it's just normal. So is this your card? No. Boom. Boom. And then the la last one is, is normal. So is this your card? No. Boom. Boom. Alright, and then after you do that four times, you get rid of the cards. And you say, well, I didn't get it the first time, but everyone deserves a second chance. So, here we go. Okay, and th this makes it so that their card will be... Three from the top or two from the bottom. Alright, so now what you want to do is you want to do the same thing except you want to do it first because it'll be just under this card. So you want to say, Is this your card? No. Then you'll take your fingers and you'll push down on this card, but they won't see that because your hand's blocking you right here. But you want to take that and you want to peel out the 10 and say, Okay, I'll take it down. I'll put it down, but actually put the 10 down and you say, I'll burn it. This time, how you do burning is you just take it and move it to the top. And then you do the same thing, you just do normal now. So you say, this is your card, no. You'll take that card, put it down, burn it. And then what I like to do, since these two aren't the cards, and you say, finally, are these two your cards? And they'll say, no. So you just take them and place them on top. So now, their card is on bottom, followed by the three extra cards. Now, for this last part, I'm going to pause the video and change the views. So, I'll be right back. Here's the last step. Um, I'll just put it like this, so we have so I can show you better. Anyway, so you have the four cards and then the ten on bottom. And what you'll do is you'll say, can I get a fist bump? So you take the cards down and you give, them, you give them a fist bump. What you do is you take their fist and you turn it manually so that their fist now is sideways. Okay? Now what you want to do is you want to take the four cards and you want to shove them into the middle. Right? So they're kind of tight now. So they're like this. And then what you do is you just take the cards and you smack them. And of course, I hit them hard enough. <laughs> so they fell all over the place. Like, what the crap is going on there? Anyways, but what you want to do is you want to have it in here. And you want to not smack it too hard. But hard enough. So that all the cards fly out. Except for one card that's stuck in the fist. And they flip it over. And it's their card. The ten of hearts. Yo, thanks for watching that amazingly awkward tutorial video. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Remember, keep mastering life.